Hello there everyone and welcome back to a brand new video in which I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm packing for a week in Cornwall minus a few things like toothbrushes, hairbrushes, phone chargers, this camera, things like that that actually need to be packed in the morning because I still need to use them. I suppose I should start by introducing where I'm actually going. So tomorrow, which is Sunday the 6th of June, I believe, myself and Charlie are heading off down to Dorset and we're staying at Durdle Door Holiday Park, which is, as the name says, right next to Durdle Door. I am so, so excited. TikTok sold me this holiday. I'm sure I'll tell you more in the vlog that I'll be filming, but that's where we're heading tomorrow and we're actually staying there for one night it was kind of more to break up the journey because the day after that we're actually heading to St Ives and we'll be staying in a hotel in St Ives from Monday to Friday but are also planning on doing a few day trips from there so that's kind of the lowdown on what's happening for us over the next week I am very very excited and I suppose the next thing I should tell you is that I am aware this is a lot of stuff we are kind of packing for unpredictable weather. I assume it's going to be quite nice and so I would like to be in a dress every single day of the holiday, ideally. But it is forecasted at the minute to be quite cloudy and also have a few showers. So I'm taking my dresses because I'm manifesting that sunny weather and I really am hoping for the best. But I'm also taking things that I can wear if it is a bit cloudy, bit chilly and possibly rainy just in case because you just don't know so i'm going to show you everything we're taking and i'm going to start off by actually showing you the suitcase that i'm taking so last time i filmed one of these videos it was in august 2020 when we actually headed to switzerland and since then the case that i take on these sorts of trips has changed i recently bought this just before we went to london and it's a four-wheeler case and it's by the brand constellation i picked this up in tesco and i got it on club card price and it was 29 pounds which is definitely a little bit more pricey than the fabric ones that I'm used to buying but I wanted a hard shell suitcase so that it's waterproof and I also really like the four wheelers as it's much easier to get around so this is the outside and then the inside looks like this which I'm actually so so happy about and didn't realize this when I went to buy it so this side is actually a zipped compartment which I've never ever had before and almost have to stack up all the stuff on this side and then fold it over and just hope for the best but having it as a zipped compartment makes it much easier to organize my things I feel like so I'm really happy with that and then on this side you obviously have like the bits underneath which always really annoy me but then I do use these sections to pack in and try and space save and as per usual you have a little thing to pull across tie in the middle and keep all of your clothes and bits and pieces tight and secure so that they don't roll about everywhere so very basic but this is the outfit that I'm going to be traveling down in just because it's the most bulky so I've got my new look Tory mum jeans I've got a little t-shirt from Harley Star my Fitbit because I need to put that on in the morning after my shower and then I'll just be wearing my trainers with these so that I don't have to pack them as they take up quite a lot of space and then on a first glance this is exactly what we're working with and believe me when I say I'm just as shocked if not way way more shocked than you guys probably are so to start with over here I've got my underwear so I've got bras here lots of different ones I've got my knickers in this little pouch and then I've just got a few pairs of socks because I am taking sandals with me and then moving on to this section here which is dresses slash play suits I think so this red dress here is a long maxi dress this one is also a long maxi dress this one is also a long maxi dress um this is slightly shorter floral then i've got a white dress which is quite flowy which i thought would be really good to take to the beach then i've got a long kind of maxi dress again there's clearly a theme going here this holiday this one's really nice it was from asda and then this is just a little romper or play suit. I'm not too sure what it's called. It's one of the ones with shorts. And I picked that up from Holly Star. I'm not going to say where everything is just because if you watch my vlog, you'll see it. And I'm sure I'll be uploading lots and lots of Instagram pictures and I'll tag where everything's from in there. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dresses. One of which, as I said, is just probably for the beach. So that's one for every single day that we're there. Then over here, I've got one lightweight sweater 
again from Harley Star that I'll just wear on the evenings when we go out for meals because it'll probably be a little bit chilly and then I also have my Harley Star hoodie because if it is raining this is probably what I'll wear I'll also actually travel down in this alongside my jeans and my t-shirt because again it's quite bulky to pack so I'll probably wear that to go down in as well then if I move on up here, I've got pyjamas. So we're going for five nights and six days, if I remember correctly. This set here is a shorts and vest top set. And then I've just got two sets of t-shirt and long pyjama bottoms to wear on the evening. So not too much going on there. Then here, alongside the jeans that I'll be travelling down in, I have other forms of bottom half pieces of clothing. So I've got a pair of shorts, which hopefully I'll be cracking out, and also this lovely, lovely tennis skirt, which I've been waiting to wear for so long. But this section here is my t-shirts. As you can see, I do roll the majority of my clothing because I do think it's quite space-saving. So this t-shirt here is one that I'm going to go out in on the evening if we go to a slightly nicer restaurant. I'll wear it with my jeans, but I can also wear it with my shorts. So a lot of these are all like multi-purpose. I can wear them with my tennis skirt, my shorts or my jeans because if I do need to wear these every day then I kind of want to be able to switch up my bottom half of course. So as you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six t-shirts and one vest top to choose from. I am somebody that will change multiple times a day especially if it's hot. Then if we move around here, I don't know how the best way is to show you guys this but I've got my gym wear. We are going to be doing a little coastal walk I think whilst we're in St Ives and when we go to Land's End I'll also be wearing gym wear so I've got one like coloured set with the matching sports bra and then underneath here I've got the black sports bra to go with my night leggings and I've got two black tops just in case we do decide to go to Lizard Point and I want to wear something a bit more sporty I can re-wear the night leggings re-wear that sports bra and then wear another one of these tops just in case here I also have more sportswear I assume you could call this like swimming wear so this is one swimming costume which I picked up from next and then I've got another swimming costume underneath with a beach wrap I think you will call it that matches it so I'm just going to take two costumes in case one doesn't dry and we are going to the beach quite a lot um, I don't really need to take much more than that because I'm not one to go in the sea very much then I think it's best if we move on to accessories before I move on to anything else. I'm not really doing this in any particular order, but I have just put things in their own individual sections. So I'm taking these two bags with me. So this one is just for some outfits that go with black and this one's for some outfits that go with white. And then moving on to shoes, as I said, I will be traveling in my trainers, but I do have a few pairs of sandals. So I've got a black pair here, again, to go with the black bag. Then I've got this pair to go with more brownie beigey white outfits and also this pair which is absolutely gorgeous i picked these up from h&m sustainable range and they were 12.99 and then just to kind of finish off the accessories i've got two pairs of sunnies so i've got one lighter pair again to go with the lighter outfits and one black pair and i'll just put those into their cases so that they don't get scratched in my suitcase and i also have a little bit of jewellery so I've got one necklace here with seashells on it because it's quite fitting, one plain necklace and just a few rings that I've picked out as well as some hair bubbles and a scrunchie. Just quickly before I move on to toiletries I will just show you guys the things on this side of the bed so that I don't have to walk all the way back around again. I'm taking a spare book with me that I'll keep in my case just in case I finish the one that I'm reading at the minute and then this was supposed to be my technology section but as I said at the start of the video a lot of it I can't actually pack till tomorrow morning so for now I've just got my camera case with spare SD cards and a charger. I've got my camera battery charger and my Fitbit charger with a plug from my old Samsung because my current iPhone phone charger doesn't actually have this USB adapter so unfortunately you have to take a separate one for that as well. Then if we move back around to this side of the bed, I'm aware I'm quite jumpy from place to place, but as I said, I'm not really doing this in a particular order. I always take a pair of these sandals to wear in the showers, whether I'm staying in a hotel, a hostel, a campsite, whatever, regardless, I always take them because I am a little bit fussy when it comes to cleanliness and if I see like scratches in the bathtub or hairs on the wall and even if it's just one I do get quite fussy so I do take these to wear in the showers if I feel I need to these are the 
the ones that I actually put aside and keep specifically for traveling um yeah I just think they're really good they're literally 90p from Primark and you can almost double up and wear them at the beach too if you like but again I am quite fussy so I like to keep them separate and just use them for inside the showers again I'm fussy so I take my own towel but to keep things a little bit less bulky I do actually have this microfiber towel and then last but not least we have the toiletry section which I'm aware is quite big and I'm actually going to sit down for it now because I'm getting worn out obviously myself and Charlie are going together so we will be sharing a lot of these but I thought I'd just include them over here now but we're hoping that this shampoo and shower gel is going to last us for the whole time that we're there it's 250 millilitres vo5 I've never ever used this stuff but it should be fine my hair's not really too fussy when it comes to things like that so hopefully that lasts if not you can always buy some when you're there so it's not a massive issue and then to go with that, we're going to take this mango shower gel from the body shop. I could probably decant some of this into a smaller, like, tub. If we weren't in the car, I would be decanting a lot of this stuff, not going to lie. But we are quite lucky, as I said, in the fact that we're in the car and we've got the extra space. Obviously, can't forget the after sun and the sun cream, factor 50, because I am pale as hell. And so is Charlie, so we need it to be quite high. Then I have my own, like, personal things. So I've got razors. I've got my pill, which is only really here now for the purpose of this video. Um, I will need to take that tonight and then repack it again in the morning. This is a very, very little part of hand slash body cream that I've decanted. I've then packed a hairbrush and the pintail comb that we used to do our plaits with. Again, I'll probably need to repack those in the morning. Then moving over here, I've got a dry shampoo. I've got the nail varnish that I'm wearing and a clear one for a top coat, if you like. And then to go with that, I've also got the nail varnish remover pads from Boots. Um, they're just nice and easy and it saves taking a massive big bottle. I think I mentioned that I've got dry shampoo for obvious reasons. My hair gets very, very greasy. I've got lip balm. I've got my moisturiser, which can also double up as like body cream as well if I run out of this stuff, which is very, very handy. I've got my vitamin C spray that I use. If you know my skincare routine, I do also take um exfoliating pads with me sometimes but i'm gonna give that a miss for now and hope that the sea air does it enough for me and then at the moment i am currently using this gradual tan by garnier so i've got the tan in me and the gradual tan which i will take with me um as i said i am very very pale you probably can't even tell that i've got it on if you don't know me but for me this is a very very tanned i'm not even gonna lie um so yeah i've got that and i think those are all of the toiletries obviously as i said there's like tough brush and tough paste things like that to pack in the morning my pill will be packed in the morning as well there's always something that i forget but i always like to think that it's stuff that you can buy when you're there too and hopefully that is everything that is going to squeeze into my very very small case as i said if it doesn't i will put the toiletries separate because i don't really want them to leak in the case so i'd pack them in something else anyway um so they might go separately to be honest especially if we're sharing them it doesn't really make sense to just have them in my suitcase we can just put them somewhere else but i am just going to quickly run you downstairs because i'm not done yet there are some more things that we're taking that are a bit more specific to this type of holiday so let me just run you downstairs and i'll show you quickly so these two bags here are filled with things that are a little bit more bulky that are kind of shared and we're taking with us so a little bit of an explanation as to why we're taking a blanket when we're staying in dirt or we're staying in a camping pod i'll obviously show you all on the vlog which i'm really really excited to film but um it doesn't come with bedding you have the bed in there but you need to take your own bed in so we're taking a bed sheet to put down of course and rather than take the quilt we think we're going to be all right with just the blanket because it's quite warm at the minute at night we usually sleep with the fan on anyway so i think a blanket will suffice just to go over the two of us and then in this bag here this is a more exciting bag let me put it a little bit closer so we've got a beach tent which oh my god like what pros are we going to look like walking down to the beach with that to set that up we're also taking badminton again we would never ever take this sort of stuff if we didn't have the car but because we do we feel like we might as well fill it with everything that we could possibly want this is charlie's microfiber towel she has the same one as me we've then got some like fire lighters and wood i don't know if we're actually going to be using this but charlie does want to try and do a little barbecue sort of thing on the beach toast marshmallows that sort of thing so 
maybe we'll use those maybe we won't i think we need to actually research whether you can do that on the beaches in st ives we then bought a beach towel we're going to be sharing this just because it's quite big we're not going to be getting naked on the beach it's literally just to dry us off if we go in the sea charlie then insisted on buying a bucket and spade again we've got the car so there's room for it so she wanted that she said it would be more expensive to buy it when we got there kind of agreed with her because it probably will be so i said she was allowed to buy that and i also let her buy um a big float to go in the sea i think it's a donut or an ice lolly and we picked it up from asda for four pounds which i didn't think was too badly priced at all in comparison to if we bought it when we were there so again we are very lucky to have the car and be able to take this stuff with us rather than spending a fortune whilst you're there and then not being able to take it back home okay i've sat myself down because filming this has actually made me really really breathless <laughs> I feel like I don't stop to breathe when I'm talking. I just speak so fast and it spews out at the camera. So we're going to take a few deep breaths together now. And then <laughs> I'm going to show you my backpack. So I'm taking this one. It's from Mountain Warehouse. And I think I literally paid £5 for this. It's very small. This is it in comparison to the size of my head. But it's just about big enough to take the essentials. And I've also got those two bags that I'll be wearing with most of my like cute pretty outfits anyway. This is more just for travelling down there with, travelling back with. And then if we do go out for the day to like Land's End and where else did I say? Lizard Point. Um, I'll probably take this with me for like water bottles, snacks and stuff. So that probably leads me on to the first thing that I will be packing in my backpack and that is my water bottle. This one I just picked up from Go Outdoors. Um, it was fairly cheap, you don't really need any explanation there, it's just a water bottle. I'll also take a little spray with me because it's always nice to freshen up throughout the day alongside some wipes because if I have to chaff bath, I will. Um, the showers at the campsite also aren't open yet because of COVID guidelines, which we don't think is going to be too much of an issue because we're going to shower here on the morning before we leave. And then the next day we check out and go to St. Ives anyway. So we can just shower on the evening rather than in the morning. And then in between that, we're going to be in the sea and Dirt door and things like that. So it's not going to be too hot. So we're not going to get too warm. And I'm just kind of hoping that we can be in the sea and that can kind of be a very very basic wash in between showers um and then sticking with covid i obviously have a little hand sanitizer this is from bath and body works it's a japanese cherry blossom one and this one is one of my favorites it smells so so good obviously things like masks we've already got in the car um we are we will obviously be taking those with us so don't worry about that then I will also be taking like my money and my ID so I'll just keep those in a little card holder because if I don't keep it in this I put my card down in the most random places and just lose it in the house for weeks on end so I do find that having one of these is quite useful and then the last thing that I'm taking in my bag because as I said it really just is for the essentials we will take snacks but of course I'll be in the car anyway probably in a separate bag so I do only need a limited number of items in here it's just the book that I'm currently reading which is Know My Name by Chanel Miller I'm on chapter 5, haven't got any further with this since we left London which is a little bit of a shame but I've just been very very busy um, if I finish this I've obviously got the spare book on the bed which I showed you earlier um, but yeah maybe I'll read some of this on the journey down and when we're out and about and other than that that is everything that I carry in my backpack I don't think I've missed anything out that's massively important for me to show you guys. And yeah, I think that's about it really. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like, comment and subscribe down below. Especially because this travel content is going to be up so, so soon. This weekend actually is going to be the first video, hopefully, that goes live. And it will be from our time in Dirt Door. So that will be my Sunday vlog. And then obviously the week after will be the rest of it. That's the plan anyway. So please make sure you subscribe so that you can stick around and watch that. Because I'm so, so excited for all of the content that I'm creating recently that's travel based because this is kind of why I created my YouTube channel to document my travels and my life and things like that um but anyway I'm waffling now so as I said like comment and subscribe down below and I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next video goodbye